Have you ever struggled with your weight? Are you sick and tired of fad diets and fake promises? Have you been out of pocket by these weight loss gurus? If you're one of those people, then I may have a perfect solution for you. Which is cheap, fairly easy, doesn't cost any money. Make sure you stick around till the end. My name is Dr. Zulkanan Ahmed. I'm a GP in Bolton and I make videos about health, productivity and lifestyle. Now, before we get into the weight loss, it's worth understanding why we put on weight in the first place. And the obvious answer to that could be because we eat too much and don't do enough exercise. But in my view, this is too simplistic and of course there are there are various reasons why people put on weight. However, in my experience, the reason which I have come across in my patients is insulin resistance. As we know, most of our food consists of carbohydrates along with fast food, which are quite quickly turned into glucose, which is a fuel for our body. And when body senses glucose in the blood it releases a hormone called insulin which causes the glucose to go into the cells which we use as a source of energy however insulin has other roles as well insulin is a fat storing hormone and because we most people are in habit of eating three to four meals a day and few snacks in between our insulin levels high all the time and as a result we keep storing fat and not able to lose any weight at all and then one of the ways in which we can tackle this is by bringing insulin level down which is one of the best ways in my view and the easiest way to do that is through intermittent fasting and this is what we're going to be talking about in this video today the other reason why i'm uploading this video is uh, i did a short on intermittent fasting which you can find it here and in that I talked about intermittent fasting and I received a lot of questions from you guys uh, about intermittent fasting and you wanted to, me to do a slightly longer video so that you can understand the concept a bit more. So here we are. So thank you for all those people who asked the questions. So fasting is not a new concept. Fasting has been prescribed for almost every religion, be it Muslims, Christians, Jews, Hindus, Sikhs, Buddhists, and so many others. And it's been a common practice for millennia. However, this concept of intermittent fasting might be a new idea for some people. As you may have guessed from my appearance that I'm a Muslim and um, I have been fasting from a very young age and I fast regularly in the month of Ramadan, which is usually 29 or 30 days. In addition to that, I try and fast two days a week, although I don't manage it every single week, but I try to do it most weeks. And I usually choose Mondays and Thursdays because that has been the practice of our beloved Prophet, Prophet Muhammad Wasallam. Peace be upon him, who according to great historian Michael Hart was the most influential person in the history of mankind. In this video, I'll be focusing on Beginner's Guide to Intermittent Fasting. The advice which I will be sharing you with you guys is mainly from my personal experience and also Michael Mosley's book, The Fast 800, which is the book here. Dr. Michael Mosley is a famous BBC presenter, as some of you may know, and he has written a popular book called Fast Diet, uh, which was many years ago, I think 2012 or 2013, and I genuinely like his work. And if anyone wants to dig deeper, then I would recommend either that Fast 800 um, or his book Fast Diet, in which he talks about much more in detail about intermittent fasting. As we know, the benefits of fasting are huge, having more energy. Um, it also starts a process in the body called autophagy, autophagy, clearing in the body and the stuff which body doesn't need. It also helps our B cells, which are not required in the blood cells and it also improves our immune function, uh, helps in our flipping our metabolic switch and using fats in addition to glucose, uh, which help us to lose more weight. And in fact, it can reverse diabetes uh, and lots of studies have shown that it can also help fight off even cancer and Alzheimer's disease. So these are some of the benefits 
I'll be making another video, a um, bit more detailed video on the benefits, so watch out for that. So intermittent fasting is an eating pattern that cycles between periods of fasting and periods of eating. And there are mainly three types. Uh, number one, time restricted eating. Number two, you could call it the 5-2 approach. And number three, it's called periodic fasting. Number one, time restricted eating. Time restricted eating is the most easiest form of intermittent fasting. And you might already be doing this, but you might not be aware of this. Um, some people may have heard of this before. And if you haven't tried fasting before, then this is normally the type I would recommend. This technique has recently become popular among millennials, bodybuilders, and celebrities. Um, the rules of time-restricted eating are very simple. Um, you eat all your food with, within a certain time frame, for example, 12 hours. So which is something called 12-12, which means that you eat all your food within 12 hours. Um, and then the rest of the other the other 12 hours you don't eat any uh, anything at all um, so basically you consume all your calories um, within the 12 hours you can start doing this time restricted eating um, by simply having your evening meal a little bit earlier and a breakfast a little bit late um, this is where you extend your normal overnight fast a few hours and um, once you've got used to this, then you can move move it around. You can change it into 14-10, which means that you all eat all your calories within 10 hour window rather than 12 hours. Um, and then you can change it to 16 hours just to get the maximal um, benefit. So if you're doing 12-12, that means you having your breakfast at around eight o'clock in the morning, and then you can have your evening meal um, before eight o'clock in the evening. I normally skip my breakfast um, sometime when I'm in a mood to do this and I'll have my lunch around 1 p.m. and then I have my evening meal between 7 and 7.30 and it usually helps me and I can do this quite easily. If you're new to this idea, then I would recommend starting slow and starting with 12, 12 and then slowly increasing your over period of sort of one to two weeks. So here are some of the tips which might help you. Delay your breakfast for a couple of hours or try eating an evening meal an hour earlier. Number two, try and reduce your snacks during the day. But if you have to have something, then use things like celery sticks, hummus, handful of berries or olives. Another tip is to drink more water because in most cases when we are Hungry, we are actually thirsty. So if you drink more water, then that would help you dealing with your hunger a lot better. Um, in addition to that, you might want to try maybe a herbal tea with no sugar, ideally, because that would also help um, with your cravings. So the next approach which, we talk, which we're going to be talking about is 5-2 approach of intermittent fasting. This approach is very popular and doable. So the basic idea in this is that you fast two days out of your week. And these two days could be two consecutive days, which is like a weekend, or it could well be two days, a few days apart. Um, like I said before, I normally like to do on a Monday and a Thursday, and that usually gives me a little bit of a gap uh, in between uh, those two fasts, uh, which I find it a little bit easier. But like I said, try and find your own um, happy medium for this uh, because I'm used to fasting and I and I have been doing this for years I can go for a bit longer and I normally when I do the intermittent fasting I normally eat once in 24 hours and in, the, in addition to that because I also want the spiritual benefits of the fasting as well um, I don't drink anything and I treat it as a, a fast in the month of Ramadan so I don't eat or drink anything for at least uh, 18 uh, hours and I find it quite easy and straightforward and nothing too difficult whatsoever. However, if you're new to this, so an easier approach would be to cut your meals to one third or a one quarter uh, of what you're eating right now and have that as a light breakfast and perhaps an evening meal um, with some salad um, and, and some uh, proteins. 
and that might be an idea. And in addition to that, you could uh, try drinking more water and evening meal, you might want to consider a soup or something like that, which would be easier on your body as well. Um, a couple of tips, don't consume anything with excess calories. Um, otherwise, you're not going to get the benefits of, for example, fruit juices or any carbonated drinks or even sweetened water. Uh, try to drink more water, uh, perhaps consider drinking herbal teas um, and things like that, and that would probably uh, benefit you more. Um, and a couple of other um, handy tips, um, if you're doing it for the first time, then choose a day when you're not working, uh, especially if you're doing it for the first time, because you might feel uh, a bit tired, or you might get a little bit of a headache, which is usually uh, quite normal. Um, usually because of the reduction in the uh, blood sugar level which is what we use to um, quite high levels of sugar um, and the body takes a little bit of time to adjust itself uh, tip number two drink more water usually around two liters in, in summer probably you can reduce it to 1.5 liters in winter um, and that should also help you and if you are struggling during the day um, then have healthy snacks um, so just a couple of other points in there, uh, in terms of um, whenever I advise this to people, people really think, fasting, am I going to be hungry? Am I going to be a miserable doctor? Am I going to get all these um, withdrawals? Yeah, if you're new to this, you probably will get a little bit of a withdrawals. However, um, you're not going to be hungry. Uh, in fact, the opposite. Hunger is a response in our bodies. And like I said, sometimes we are thirsty and sometimes and most of the time, in fact, it's about habit uh, and we're not actually hungry. And hunger is like a wave. It, it comes and goes. So, for example, if you are hungry for a little while and you're feeling these um, hunger pangs and if you just stick with it or have some water and don't have anything, it will pass and you're not going to feel hungry um, all the time. Um, in fact, once you get used to the fasting, it resets your, uh, the part of the brain which deals with the hunger as well. And that usually helps us in resetting our body and eating less than uh, what we normally would do. And that also helps us in bringing the insulin level down and can help us in losing weight. Now, the third type of intermittent fasting is periodic fasting. Um, this method is much more intense and much more advanced level. I wouldn't recommend it for anyone if you're a beginner or starting completely new. Uh, and especially if you have certain heart conditions or diabetes, or advanced diabetes and your medication and insulin, I wouldn't recommend that. You probably would need to speak to your doctor about it before you go um, on this. But just to explain a little bit about this method, um, so people normally fast four to five, uh, sometimes even seven days with minimal amount of food. Um, and some people consume 500 to 600 calories in a day. However, some people take it to the next level and don't consume any calories at all. And they just do a water fast. However, this can be quite difficult. And um, like I said, if you have certain health conditions, you might need to uh, speak to your doctor first. Um, however, this method can be quite helpful uh, resetting your body clock. Um, I'm looking into doing this myself. However, uh, I'm waiting for a few days when I'm free um, and don't have much to do, which is quite rare these days. Um, and perhaps I would uh, try it uh, for maybe four days or something like that uh, but i've not managed to do this yet so this was today's video i hope you liked it and if you want to know more about what kind of food you can eat um, and and get your health into better shape so perhaps click on this video here in addition to that we also know that exercise can also help uh, us um, so if you want to know more about the exercise and how it can benefit us then have a look at this video here and if you have any questions, please put them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. And let me know how you find uh, how you're finding these videos. Um, are they helpful? Uh, what bits you like and what bits you don't? And uh, let me know in the comments below that which method resonates more with you. 
and which you want to try. Thank you very much for watching. May peace be upon you.